See what it's uh, what it's like when we get up there. I've no doubt it's steep, which I know it's steep. So onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. Well, folks, that was easy, dead easy. I think that's a run up it. I was shite. It wasn't easy. It's steep to say the least. I'm not, I'm not frightened to admit. My backside was twitching a bit in a couple of places. It was, uh, and I, I don't like heights. I'm, I'm wondering whether I've got vertigo though, because. Every time I look back, every time I look back, I went dizzy, as if I was going to fall. So, probably not a good idea, me coming up these places. <laughs> but anyhow, anyhow so <coughs> having five minutes enjoying that view. 
What more could you want? Thanks, Mux. Sorry for the lack of video in Made myself a hot meal. Trying this one out. Under cat one, I don't know what they're like. I'm not really the one for dehydrated meal, ready meals. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm cold and hungry, so here you go. If it doesn't look great, I'll be honest. It smells a bit like dog food. Not bad actually. Wake right. up Rhea, bit of Thai food, isn't it? Because you only get a new bit of Thai food. Current temperature is... Dun dun dun! Zero degrees. Zero. 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 Uh, fetch it back to fit and I'll show you around and we'll have a look at all the tents. Hi folks. Right, I've just climbed the top of the little hill. Give you a brief outlook on the camp. And there we have it. Our little camp next to Sheepfold in the valley it's cold now I think it's uh, below zero degrees now just had me pasta thought I'd do a little video and then uh, I'm at 40 winks my hands are freezing holding this camera up. It's good to be back, good to be back with the lads. Just you know, it's seven months since our last camp. So, it's good to be back with us. Good crack. Good crack indeed. Right then, here we go. This is Daz's trail star. Daz, you like to hurry up, you've been burgled. You've been burgled again. Don Coombs, aka the messy camper. This is Mick Southern Cross, I like these. Sitting there, he's uh, getting his bait. With some 30 year old dehydrated food. <laughs> and uh, it's a nice tent as well, I like Mick Southern Cross. Got my scarf there. Good. Great tent. Nice and roomy inside. And we're just getting down now, as you can see, to minus, minus four. Uh, minus 0 0.4, sorry. And you've got uh, Rob's new tent. He's high gear. He's high gear tent. <laughs> it is. Uh, Hilliburg, wish it was. Aye, it's, a, it's his Hilliburg. What is it? Hilliburg, what? Una. Una. Lovely tent, it's massive inside. I don't know whether you're not naked in there, are you? No, no. It's absolutely huge. That's as we at the back. Right, 
they turn Pretty much. Off. It's massive it's inside. Do you know what I mean? So it's got loads of room. Right by. That's what I'm fancying next, I think. In addition to what I've got, it's either Lilyburg or I'm going to get the Southern Cross, but I might get the two. I'm going to get the Southern Cross too. Right. Oh, we're having a great time. So it's starting to get dark now. It's not be long. It's, it's cold. I think we'll all agree. It's, it's a bit chilly now. Um, I've only got an Under Armour thing on underneath here. It's a lovely warm cup, but I've got a big, thick wool lined uh, jump sweater off when I. I was shooting actually when I used to go shooting, it's, it's very very warm, windproof, waterproof, obviously being wool that retains its heat if, if it's wet as well, so, yeah. natural water source as well, running through, so yeah, we had a good walk up, nice walk up through the valley and a few sights, Mick had a tumble, fortunately He's fine, he, he took a right, he didn't have to take a fall line. Another foot further forward, and I'm laughing now, I shouldn't be laughing, but another foot and he'd have been in the, in the river. He was on his back, he couldn't like get up, he's hurt his elbow a little bit I think, but uh, he just loves his camp and he, he'll soldier on, he'll soldier on. It's, it's nice to be out again, you know. I've not been on much. I've not, to be fair, I've not been watching many videos either. I've lost me mojo a little bit. Uh, but I'll be alright, I'll get back. Get back to it. Uh, look at that, how cold it is. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I think the hardest thing is when you're, when you're doing this sort of thing, is actual getting out there. Once you're out, you think, oh, why haven't I been out more? Um, getting out a lot more than what I have, but I'm born idle, as my wife will vouch for. Um, can I stand packing my gear? Here, packing up my gear to, to go camping. I get stressed to hell doing it. I'll be out more if somebody will come and do it for us, if anybody wants to come and pack my bag for us and things like that. No? I'm looking for a flat stone that I can cook on. Might be that one. Uh, so, I'm waffling on a bit here, aren't I? I'm, uh, I'm banging on. I'm a little sheep fold now. So, I'll bring these back in a bit. I've got, I've just had that pasta thing there. I've got, oh, there's a sprinkling moisture coming down. I've got a, um, a beef stew and some crusty bread. Is it tiger bread? I think it is tiger bread. And a couple of cans and some rum. Right, I'll catch us in a bit. Right, like folks, as you can see, snar is the call it in Sunderland. It's gonna snar, and it is snar. It's a bit cold, I tell ya. I tell ya. I've got my belly clavel on now. I'm like a real child. It doesn't half, it doesn't half closed in this weather. Four o'clock it said. Right. It said four o'clock. Well, I'm gonna get <laughs> That's a way to bed. See ya. I'm not even sticking my head out, I'm just... Retired to the safety of me tent. <laughs> Retired to the tents. Um, started snowing a bit. 
here. As you can see, they're not starting to snow again. Um, I'll give you a look. Bear with us. Just a little bit of snow. <laughs> That's all in about half an hour's snow. Uh, about half an hour's snow. Look at Daz's tent. Daz's tent looks like a little igloo. <laughs> mm. right. It's bad, mate. It's, uh, it, it, it came down heavy, properly heavy, and I didn't have my cross poles on. So I had to get out and put my cross poles on. cross poles on and in the process of putting my cross poles on I got soaked. So I got my down jacket soaking. What a mistake to make it. But I'm dry I'm dry, I'm not I'm not soaked myself. Um outside of my coat got wet. I have my waterproof buttons on. So, yeah. There you have it. Snowy camps. Oh, folks. Aye. Yeah. It's that time of day. Rum time. Cheers. Yeah? I am? That's all right, couldn't hear it. Mick's just saying that uh, it's like putting music on. We listen to music. We'll be so careful because of the copyrights on YouTube. It's, uh, it's ruined a couple of my videos, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're all settled. It seems to have been that has eased off now, like the, the snow is not as bad now. But it's cold. Oh. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm getting out for a couple of minutes, but it's starting to snow again. It's been snowing heavy, as you can probably see behind us. So we've come out, had a quick slurp, and I think we'll be heading back in shortly. It's just, it's gonna, we don't want to get soaked, we've already got down coats on and that, so it's, you don't want to get soaked in them. And we've got to walk down tomorrow morning as well. Right folks, it is 10 o'clock. We're all sort of retired to bed. I had a meals. I had a, a beef stew I made at home and some crunchy stick. Lovely. Very filling. Uh, I had a I've got a dessert there, but I don't feel like eating. I've had a bit of chocolate. I've got a bit of chocolate there. Um, I'm tired now. But I'm feeling I'm not going to sleep now. <laughs> I'm not on the flattest of lies. So, go down a little bit. Unsettled. I am tired. I um, found a little flaw with the uh, Optimus Vega stove. The simmer on it. I don't know if it's a stove actually, because um, I use the Alpkit titanium pots and I'm finding the burning quite a lot, the sticking on. I don't know whether it's because the simmer doesn't go low enough on the stove or just with it being titanium. I'm sure somebody will, uh, will tell us um, if it is the titanium. I have a feeling it might be just because of the titanium 
pots. But being good, it's, there must be four or five inches of snow. Oh, no, it's still snowing now. Um, so yeah, it's been good. It's been a good day. Good day and a good camp. Oh, I keep getting cramped in my legs, um, which isn't great. Hear that flapping? That's when I put the crossbows up because the snow is starting to, um, to rest on the tent. So I put the crossbows on and just sort of feed the snow off. One of the, the ties is flapping. So, yeah, I'm going to get myself to bed. I'll get myself in bed. I've just shed some layers, I've just set a mitt there. I'm going to test my sleeping bag out and I'm take this down jelly off and just go in with me uh, the long johns in the merino wool base layer in my sleeping bag, see what's out. It's, I don't know what the temperature is out there. I don't know what the temperature is out there. <laughs> Where it is. It is zero point one degrees. That's the temperature at the moment. Zero point one. It's been pretty static at that actually. When I think back, it was that earlier on. So been out in the rock holder. Rock holder. <laughs> at uh, camp. At Kale down in the hammocks. Good deal, that was freezing that. That was the coolest I've ever been. I think we've got out to about minus seven then. But yeah, I shall uh, move us and leave us and bring you back in the morning. Just be back with stairs. <laughs> Take care of the night, I guess. Morning, folks. Cold night. Um, a lot of condensation. Bag is a bit damp. But it's to be expected really. Um, didn't sleep great. My hips are, are hurting a bit. I don't know I need a deeper mat. I don't know. It is quarter past seven. got to be up and away because Daz needs to be back. Um, <coughs> been good, been different with the snow. Um, it wasn't cold during the night. I didn't uh, feel cold. I only went to bed with me base layers on. So sleeping bag done this job. Yeah, been good. I'm gonna have some uh, porridge and then start putting my stuff away. Bring us along on the way back down if we can find it. Um, the tracks probably is hidden with snow now, but I'm sure we'll manage. See you in a minute. Hi, folks. I was about this to wake up now.
Brilliant. A great night, four one. I'm gonna head off, try and find the path back out. Happy days. Well, folks, we've uh, we've come down the top, over the top from Courtley Spout. I'll give you a little view if I can. See, that's a view we should have had if I would have dared look up. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. Don't like heights at all. And that was sketchy in places. But, I can look down now and see them views. So, I'm getting over it. <coughs> the lads have all got spikes on, I haven't. What a mistake I could make. I should have gotten some. But, Epic, I think the word is epic. Epic. Awesome. Awesome. Assholes probably not talking about rescue would see how much of arsehole's doing in this weather, but there you go. Proper kit on. Got a proper kit with us, so we'll see that behind. Very lovely. But yeah. Happy days, just heading off back down to the car now, so hopefully in one piece. Not the quick route. A bit. Well, folks, that's it. The end of another wild camp. Been a good one, cold one, good scenery, and a bit scary at times for me. But yeah, enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Mick, Daz, and Rob for coming along, and uh, we'll see you on the next camp. Take care. God bless everyone.